Ne- never mind. Do you understand financial news? Well, don't you read financial reports? Or is it that people like us bad guys shouldn't care about financial news? No, I don't mean that. Of course, I also follow the news. Do you have something to tell me? Nothing. I just want to chat with you. Then let's talk about our bridal bed on our wedding night. Forget it. I'm tired and sleepy now. Chiang Chan, we've received medical expenses, so we'll schedule the surgery for next week. Dad did give his promise and paid for the medical expense. I need to maintain the image of Chang Yao and I cannot expose my real identity. Chang Chan, you're good. He even cling to the Pai Xiao Master. What? If it weren't for Pai's meddling, how could Dad have failed beating that land? Mr. Pai even forced me to sell the necklace to pay for your poor mother's treatment. Who is Mr. Pai? I don't know him. Stop it, you bitch. Pretend to be innocent, but secretly seduce men. I don't care who you are, but remember to show respect to my wife. You were not supposed to do the housework in the gems before. No, nope, no. Nope. But it seems that you are good at it. I... I have to make Kumang believe I'm Chiang Yao. Otherwise, I cannot afford mom's medical bills. Even though I didn't get what Chiang Yao was saying yesterday, it feels like dad still cares about mom. I cannot let Kumang get suspicious of me. Yeah, even though we have maids at home, I like to do it myself. I often greet my dad's office in person. Ah, oh, got it. This house is pretty beat up. It should be much worse than Mrs. Chiang's office. Miss Chiang, are you cool with living here? Since I married you, I'm not gonna be all juicy. My house is kinda run down and get away off the grid. I'm thinking of moving to the center of the city where I lived before. Sure, my dad will likely set us up. Luckily, back in the day, dad bought a house for mom, which has been vacant since she was in the hospital. It's not huge, but it should enough for keeping my secret cool. Okay, let's make the move tomorrow then. Okay. Chan Chan, when on earth are you going to tell the truth? My dear sister, you just got married for a few days, but you're already punching the clock. I don't expect that you couldn't hack it at that criminal's pub. Dad called me to work. It's just a small sales gig, nothing too fancy. Fang Qingyang, from now on she's under the management. Yes, madam. Do you know why Chang Chan was assigned to work under you? Yes, you want me to help Chang Chan with her work, right? Stupid. She's nothing but an illegitimate daughter. She even married to a criminal. It's embarrassing enough for our chance. I understand what you mean. No problem. I will definitely take good care of your sister. Chan Chan, do you still remember me? Are you Senior Fong Chin Yang? Oh, you have a good memory. I remember in college. I was your admirer. How about having a lunch together? Is that okay? Not really. I just joined the company and there is a lot of work. I'm also talking about work. I have a client from French. You study French, right? Help me out, please. Well, okay. Where are we meeting? Right here in our city. At the best hotel. The Hao Hotel. Chan Chan, how's the hotel? Are you full? Do you want more? Senior Fang, I've sent the client off. If there is nothing else, I'll head back. John John, you are really beautiful. You are much better than your sister. If it weren't for her being the chairman's favorite, I wouldn't bother currying favor with her. Mr. Fang, you are drunk. No, John John. Someone wants to harm you, but I can protect you, do you think? Do you want to show your appreciation? <laughs> show me! <laughs> do you know, John John? I've always liked you. Back in college, I had a crush on you. I couldn't forget you. Fang Jin Yang, I'm already married. Don't embarrass me. John John. Listen to me. Can you stay together with me? As long as you satisfy me, I'll get you the stars and the moon in the sky. All for you. Now you see the stars? Who the hell are you? How dare you hit me? Screw you. Stop. Stop, please. Get out. Are you okay? Why are you here? 
But the environment here is quite good. Don't worry. As long as you follow me, there will be promotions and races for sure. Are you cold in the thin clothes? We are on such good terms. I'm just passing by. How could the lady of the Chiangs end up in a situation like this? Oh, that man is a major shareholder in our company. Oh, you've offended the major shareholder. How are you going to deal with him then? No problem. I have it all recorded. Didn't expect you to be quite clever. Of course. But didn't you say your name is Jiang Yao? Why did he call you Chan Chan? And who is your sister? Because my nickname is Chan. How did that guy know your nickname? We are from the same college. Maybe he heard it from someone else, so he followed it. Oh, I got it. Mm. Anyway, he's a psychopathic pervert. <laughs> Hubby, it's good that you beat him up today. I'll make you braised pork chop soup at home tonight. Mm. Okay. Hey, Jiang Chan, there is a rumor in the company today that you got married. Married to an ex-prisoner. He even beat up Mr. Fang. Yeah, I'm married. He was not honorable, but he's very nice to me. But you don't have a wedding ring on your hand either. Hmm. <laughs> Her husband has been in jail for half his life. How can he afford a ring? No wonder. I feel that Miss Jiang is working so hard lately. So you are saving up for a ring. <laughs> if your husband can't afford it, you ask another man. Wouldn't that be fine? Miss Jiang is so pretty. You'll have everything by having sex with them. Feng Jingyang, don't be a bully. Who says I don't have a ring? Wow, what a beautiful ring. It looks so expensive. It looks like an antique. In my eyes, it's just a piece of stained glass. Feng Jingyang, be careful what you say. Or I won't mind asking my hobby beat you up. Didn't you cook? I came home late today. If you're not going to prepare dinner, you should at least prepare some ingredients. Um, it's so comfortable. What's up? Do you think I'm dragging you down because I don't have a job? You misunderstood me. Even if you don't work, I can still support you. But... You support me? What's wrong? Oh, there's no food at home. Let's eat out. How about this one? It's the Tihao Hotel, the most expensive five-star hotel in Chiang City. Miss Chiang, you've been here often before, haven't you? Then let's go here. Oh, mmm. Why don't you eat? It's delicious. Um, I'm not hungry. Were you complaining that I didn't cook? If you don't eat, I can fit you. Ah. Uh, I'll go to the bathroom first. Okay. Oh, uh, why do you always stay at the Dihao Hotel? This is the Dubai's property. Of course, I'm here to inspect the work. Just now, you would fit her right away. Hey, I'm not bothering you, am I? Do you really want a beating? Oh, to be honest, Shishin, do you really fall in love with Jiang Chan? You still have to go back to Yang City. How can that be? I'm just pretending for hiding my identity.